वार्तालाप आकाश एंड नवीन ये विथ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विशाल Nice to meet you, Vishal. Vishal, nice give us your full name and uh, we'll tell people why it's important. Vishal yeah. Vijay Premchand Malhotra. Oh wow, we got the legal name. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Vishal. But I added my grandfather's name also, Premchand. That's nice. Premchand is a nice name. He was a lovely man. He yeah. was a professor of economics. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Our producer has managed to make a lot of chair noise <laughs> just <laughs> as the recording has started. Yes. Who's the producer? Uh, the we also don't know actually. Guess. There's three of them over there. We we pick one and we go. <laughs> Matt, Matt. The one, the one, the one, one who show. doesn't have samosas. Yeah, <laughs> the one who's staring back at us every week. We come here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we tell him, Hey man, we have an hour of recording. Yeah. Why don't you get a samosa from a shop that is five meters away, yeah, not yeah, even yeah. that far away. Yeah. What shop? Gujarati, Gujarati, Gujarati Dairy. Gujarati Dairy. Arey, Tharu bhi hai na yahan par. Tharu mein thay. Gujarati Dairy is the place. Kya baat? Tharu Maru doesn't make good. प्रॉब्लम है कैसा प्रोड्यूसर मैं मस्त टेंडरिंग राइस खा के आया व्हाट डू लेट्स लेट्स ईट लेट्स टेक अ ब्रेक लेट्स ईट नो व्हेन यू टेक द कॉल इज व्हेन आई लीड माय समोसा ओके डन बट फॉर नाउ नवीन यू इंट्रोड्यूस एवरीथिंग हैंग्स ऑन दिस वन कॉल एंड समोसा आई फील हाय नवीन माय वैल्यू इज हाउ यू वांट इट बट नो विशाल आई लाइक आई हैव टू वी वी विल स्टार्ट ऑफ द शो विद अ स्टोरी दैट्स रिलेवेंट टू द एपिसोड एंड टू द गेस्ट ऑन द एपिसोड व्हेन आई वाज यंग आई डिडंट हैव मच स्किल सेट्स लाइक आई ओनली लर्न स्पीकिंग publicly when i was like 17 right but uh, until then like my skill was drawing and uh, you were a drawer i was a drawer in my house uh, that used to put underwear inside me <laughs> <laughs> and then i started like doing artwork okay yeah. on my own drawing book yeah. or whatever and my sister was like what are you doing this for i'm like i see all the kids on disney are doing it i also want to like you know send yeah. this so she was like why don't we do this so that back then it was on zee tv yeah. and i sent my artwork it was a yeah. fairy and everything and we got a response letter back from disney are saying ki thanks for sending this your art was selected but now we are on sony tv <laughs> as disney time so in the transition yeah. period my art was never featured oh, and i felt no. very hurt but no so that was like a very pivotal moment where i'm like first first memory of disappointment of like was being involved vishal <laughs> I not, know that that it, it didn't involve you. Well. You were the because silver lining. You were you were the host. I was the host, and yeah. I wanted you to specifically hold, like you know, take my ah. name or whatever. That was a big thing, and uh, that never came to be. But uh, here we are. I'm well, saying that the the way yeah, you do was works. Around, yeah. That you years later, yeah, and we, I can tell you this in a, in a podcast where I'm like shit. You know how how the world yeah. of like whatever coincidences works, yeah. and like here we are sitting and doing this. No, Nikhil, it's amazing that you're saying this. On a serious note, I'll be to me. Thoda serious sound karna. But the fact is that. It's a blessing, yar. Yeah, you know, being a kid and kids following you, and then you growing up on television and film, and the audience growing up with you. Yeah, mm. and what you just narrated to me about, uh, I'd send you this letter on Disney R, and, mm. and yeah. I get that every time somebody meets me. Mm. Yeah, along with a lot of other things. But I can't believe I'm sorry, yar. <laughs> you know, but there was a point where. I remember our team telling us that we're getting eight thousand letters a day, yeah. right from from different countries for some reason. So great, yeah. I mean that adulation was not something that um, I tried for, but yeah. uh, it was lovely to have it. And yeah. as you said, what goes around also it comes, comes around. around yeah. Do you ever feel yeah. sorry? But you had max adulation at a point in history where if you had had it five years later, it would have been on the social media. You know what I mean? Yeah, the hippie pure generation, and let's say that the Star One show. What was that? Uh, remix. Remix. Yeah. The whole like you know that was the remix was just hippie pure re merchandised. If you yeah, if you yeah, look at yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. But those stars today, it's like, okay. We can say yeah, all this. Karan Bahi is like you know yeah. <laughs> on a different like you know status. What he's saying is absolutely yeah. right. Like like you know, like in the sense that you were peak fame. Like when I was a kid. Okay. And like you were everywhere in my life. Yeah, right? everybody, like everybody knows your name. Yeah, everybody knew you. Everybody knew the fact that oh my God, it's the guy for the the the. That was the bare minimum we all knew, right? Yeah. If I had seen you on the street, I wouldn't have known your name. I would have still be like ah, but ah. Uh, and if this would have been ninety, uh, this would have been two thousand ten instead of nineteen ninety seven. 
you know what i mean it would have been a completely different uh, this thing you are the last generation of celebrity without social media without the and that's why you're still pamps. interviewing me 27 years later absolutely that's yeah. my perspective yeah with all yeah. humility that is my i'm glad it wasn't there i'll yeah. tell you what social media has done besides the great stuff hmm. it's also shortened your attention span yeah that's why i feel my longevity wouldn't have been there if there was social media today yeah. because that created i say this with humility and gratefulness that because i'd created that kind of a uh, acknowledgement from the people whether it was hip hip hooray whether it was ishq wishq yeah. mambo whether it was yeah. disney r whether Vicky it was vikyan vital vikyan or vital <laughs> and that's amazing right i mean yeah. i can say these things in a time of tiktok and instagram reels which the retainer ship of the mind of an audience has come down to literally 10 seconds yeah, yeah. the goldfish thing yeah yeah I'm here 27 years down the line and y'all are finding it important to take out an hour from the day when you're hungry and talking to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So so I'm not trying to boast here but I'm trying to say that that happened and social media enhanced that. Yeah. It just And it I just, continued working. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess I'm a mixture of all these things. Yeah. Absolutely. But I want to know how did you end up on the Disney gig? Like you know like it must have been I was hanging out. Uh, <laughs> I was I I know this Peter Pat because I just done a TED talk hmm. and I was talking about something and this is uh, so I was in uh, National College. Hmm. and i was outside jai sandwich wala with a friend of mine nimesh hmm. and uh, we were hanging out we were not in class uh, and this uh, geeky i was very geeky i'm more geeky than what i look now so there was this really really pretty girl who walks up and comes to me and she says that you know we're testing we're auditioning for something hmm. and i was wondering if you'd like to do it i said yeah cool man <laughs> and that time landline number yeah, okay, i'm yeah, talking yeah, ancient yeah, yeah. and she went so my friends like uh, you know <laughs> you be us in butt head and i was like uh, i was so he's like she like you like oh cool uh, uh-huh. but what is an audition i'm like fuck knows yeah <laughs> yeah yeah right my got a pretty girl to get a number of she did call me she called me and i went there and mm. i did it and bro i mean one thing i want to say to you is that it just came to me being in front of a camera for the first time in my life was more comfortable than me having a conversation with 99% of the human beings that I interacted with thus far. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's what we feel for stand up also. It's like yeah. Yeah. on stage is much different because then like you just, there's the filters and you're yeah, yeah, yeah. home all of a sudden. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And you guys just I see the fact that when you guys are on stage it just flows. Even if you fumble, who the hell cares? You'll cover yeah. it up and there's a naturalness to it. So it's not easy but it's a god gift. Yeah, it's only human actually. Like to acknowledge that fact actually. I mean, oh, you can only do it in stand-up. But now it must have been a very odd thing. Like I remember, my first audition was a very odd experience for me. It was very uncomfortable for me. Like I didn't un- and how you know. I mean, did they must have done the thing right where you do a take and they're like, oh no, great, 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 and then you re- don't. It's really almost know. like a mug shot where you're like, "Kya di number paach? Samne se lelo, side se lelo." Do you remember what Here's lines the they made you do? Like when you yeah, there was a script from. Um, I mean, I don't really remember the script, but I remember what it was. I remember what I was wearing, but it went off very well, yar. Like I was more com, I was as comfortable as I'm now. Yeah, I don't know how mm. that happened. Mm. Yeah, I just I was just a kid. Yeah, I was I was all of sixteen and a half. 17. What did you, your parents were okay with the idea of you acting? Of course, my parents are entrepreneurs. Okay. My father is the guy who got uh, cable television into India. Ah, so he's pretty much a rock star. My mother is a professor of mathematics. Okay, so they've they've always encouraged. I've got two elder sisters. They've always encouraged us to say. do what you want at least that's the romantic way of saying it mm. or maybe they just didn't care about us <laughs> so just do it but yeah. usually by the third kid they're a little casual you know they're like the third ah, kid. to dekh le ha the third kid <laughs> it's funny that your dad brought cable tv to india yeah, and uh, yeah. for the yeah. first two years we moved to bandar we used to steal cable from our neighbors there you go <laughs> but by by then yeah ye gulf war ke baad hua hoga Huh. Because by huh. then Gulf War destroyed my dad's business. Uh-huh. Because all of a sudden there was satellite television and जहाँ पर तीन channel थे DDK के वहाँ पर all of a sudden thirty thousand channels आ गए. Yeah, mm. you had those plug-in systems where wires would go for one socket for like one. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. they had a cable going through a pipe and we just put our wire through the pipe to the antenna. Yeah. So we're catching DDK channels and parallel channels that they have Star Plus. Ah. So that's how I actually started watching. How did you watch porn? On TV. No. How did you generally watch? Uh, my, porn? my my first porn experience was Conan the Barbarian. My cousin gave me a DVD of that. That's not porn, is it? I mean, it's soft porn. Like it starts off with like Titanic, Conan the Barbarian, and then you start watching like more. देखना पड़ेगा अच्छा. Conan the Barbarian. तो you 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 jumped off on Conan. I did. 
I mean, I'm gay, so by oh, default. Oh, that's nice. All right. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, right. so for you me, you jerked out to Anil Swastika. Yeah, in the beginning. Yeah. You were into the buff. Short thing? skirts, thighs. I was confused, man. Like you don't immediately know your type as soon as. Fair, you, like, fair. No, like, no, no, fair. I'm just saying. I'm just. At 13, like I Arnold also. Anil Swastika just feels as as Naveen is now. You, you yeah. seen him in Conan the Barbarian? He's got a chest of a size of football, dude. That's true. Yeah. I was actually looking at his legs. Yeah. Oh, massive. So we all you always have to We as Indians uh, ignore <laughs> legs workout. Lower yes, body yeah. weight. You should yeah. see Cyrus. Yeah. So does yeah. Kanye actually. Yeah. Cyrus no, has no. got tits. He has. He's Good, got, but and uh, he's got like a tapering body. Now but he can, he's become but he like, can yeah. lift like crazy. Yeah, he's very proud of that. Yeah, he's like deadlifting this much and that much, and I'm very good. Yeah, and yeah. doesn't even carry a belt on his back. Like he's one of crazy. the one of the single-handedly most talented human beings on this planet. On a serious note, Cyrus Brocha. Cyrus. Think, oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. Ha, huh, no, yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> <laughs> the what thing is, bitch. we we are overexposed, dude. Like yeah. now, you know, even I had the wow moment when I first met Cyrus, and now I see. No, I didn't week. have a wow moment. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> wow moment and all, all keep to yourself. You were famous when Cyrus was famous. Yeah, I think we were famous together. I guess, <laughs> right? So I was offered a gig on uh, with with MTV also a long time ago. Yeah. Mm. But that meant me leaving Disney uh, uh, and me leaving a lot of things which I'm known for. So I took that was one of the first decisions I had to make in my life. Yeah. Speaking of that, how young yeah. were you when you did that? Uh, when that I was 21, and I remember oh, wow. oh, shit. the then executive producers of the head of MTV sitting down with me and saying. You're 21. Please make your mistakes now. <laughs> and I was like, No, I am loyal. <laughs> but I'm. No I mean, regrets. considering now Disney owns the world, it, it kind of makes sense in the long run. You know? Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that they gave me didn't pay me. They gave me one percent equity at that oh, time. Oh wow, of dude! What? what? So that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue this You got paid in ESOPs. <laughs> so okay. I didn't want to uh, fight Elon for the 44 billion. <laughs> but that brings oh, up an invest, uh, yeah. interesting uh, aspect again, of your life also, now, yeah. uh, Sorry, but now yeah. I'm, my guju brain is up. Yeah. yeah. Second. <laughs> so your parents would have obviously handled like the negotiations and everything nothing, for no, you. No, nothing, nothing. So I'll tell you, you how much I got also. Money. You want to know? No, no, no I don't want to know <laughs> how much money. I'm trying to understand like how you must have been what, 18, 19? 17, 17, 17 when you... I, I remember getting... You were a minor. You couldn't even negotiate for yourself but the I first did. time. But I did. <laughs> That's what. So tell me more. What do you want to know, man? I went by, uh, took 211 bus. My, my parents are uh, done well for themselves. Yeah. And on their own steam. Very good for them. I had nothing to do with that. Uh, so we live in a nice affluent area in Mumbai called Bali Hill. And that's where I grew up. I studied in a nice school called Jamnabai Narsi School. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, in Jew. And uh, this was when I just finished school. It was 11 standard-ish, I think. I'm not sure. 11, yeah. 12 standard. And uh, I remember, but my parents kind of instilled those, I don't know if it was values or they just didn't have time. But they used to never drive us around. We used to never have a driver. We used to take a bus and go everywhere. So yeah. 211 from Pettit School, Pettit Girls School, hmm. used to take me to Turner Road. Yeah. And then from there, 255 used to take me to this thing. Yeah. And if I wanted to go into town where Nirlon House in Worli was where the yeah. Disney office was, Lalit Modi owned uh, 49% of uh, Disney at that time. Because wow. at that time, the rule by our government was that you couldn't have, half yeah. percentile yeah. has to be owned by an Indian. So Modi, yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. So Discovery and a lot of those channels were there. And um, so I took a bus. 211 and then from there 360 to, to uh, Nirlon House. I went there and I signed my contract. I took a bus and came back. My contract was 4,000 rupees per episode and we would definitely do four episodes and this was not even when ZTV started. Yeah. It was on DD Metro on a show called Disney Club. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah. So that's it. And I didn't even know what I was getting in. And can I tell you why I did this? Yeah. Because I wanted to make enough money to pay for my applications for my submissions of my uh, college admissions as undergrad in the states and right. all this because my all my friends went there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To those if you remember, it was the herd mentality. Computer science, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, na? It uh, still is actually. <laughs> my, 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 no. my contemporaries from telecom and IT also have that same ambition. Yeah, but I just yeah. feel that kids nowadays are just so much more clearer in their head. Yeah. Yeah, because I think That's exposure a very small is percentage up. actually, Vishal. I'll be honest. Yeah. Like very few, like I'm an engineering kid who, who migrated away into writing and mm-hmm. comedy. Mm-hmm. But in my entire college, there are perhaps like. I'm talking 120 per batch, okay? Mm-hmm. So in my final year, there were easily 400 kids. Only mm-hmm. two of us are artists today. I'm doing comedy and one more girl is so a singer. One, can I ask you something? Yeah. That's amazing, yeah. firstly. Secondly, why am I seeing a lot of engineers moving into the creative field? 
because kids who are undecided end up doing engineering they get most yeah. dissatisfied it's more of a steering mechanism where they are like yo entrance test de do jao and then figure out what you want to do kuch nahi karna hai na kuch yeah. nahi pata hai na engineering kar ya to law kar do hi to bachta hai law maa baap na bolenge bilkul yaar i was like i wanted to become a writer since i was in 9th grade but i went yeah. fighting into the whole thing just because more poverty, bro. yeah really well, I, i have a law degree because i love writers listen hmm. i want to take this opportunity not just as a this thing i love writers and i just feel that worldwide especially in india we just so under study cut valued yeah if you just increase the quality of writing yeah, <laughs> i don't to understand the quality is there but money is not in india i used to also work with vice and 101 india and like all these the other money is there yaar come on yaar money is there for the tiktok people now the money is there for the followers no the, it's, it's, the influencer it's mentality values. has taken over the writing mentality like everything yeah. in the world i think boils down to how what we assign value to and why we assign value to it yeah. Yeah. right so it's yeah. always the formulas change that's all it is you know uh, but all i'm trying to say is uh, kids today what I, i i partially agree with you like they do definitely know a lot more about what's going on than kids earlier used to but i don't think they understand what's going on as much as they used to because there's a lot more noise also so to have an opinion you really need to be able to cut through the noise which is very difficult for most kids i feel it's not noise as much as it's options bro uh abhi yaar nahi main apne aap ko compare kar raha hu main matlab my 18 year old version and today's 18 years old matlab asma matlab I would be that 18 year old of today. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? No, yar. But if you have 25 people who are telling you that you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do this, you have to do that, 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 you have to do that. It's a very muddled space. You know what I mean? We had a very clear moral uh, compass growing up. Mm. That is becoming way more difficult to maintain in life in general. So you don't know what you want to do. So and it's for I, them to tune into what they yeah. really can tap into. Their and mental. I, yeah, and the thing is, I do so many college shows every year. Like I go here and there. Most of my audience is college kids, and I see it on their face sometimes. they have no idea what the fuck is going on anymore they are yeah, very yeah. confused very disturbed but they don't care as much as we did no in fact because they are like yeah, ah, something numb. will happen yeah but they're numb also to an extent because the reel is also there to distract na aisa kuch nahi to agla reel dekh lo 15 second hi to hai yeah 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 but okay i think that awareness that you had is great man did you read your contract did you understand the terms of I your did, contract i did i did read it i tried to understand it at one point in page half i saw <laughs> या डूड अब क्या करेंगे यार मैं मेरे पास है क्या जो ले लेंगे ये लोग ठीक है करते हैं बट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स इन जनरल इवन एट दैट टाइम एंड स्पेशली विद डिज्नी आर वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट बिकॉज़ इट कम्स ऑल द वे फ्रॉम बर्बैंक एंड यू नो इट्स कनेक्टेड टू द स्टेट्स एंड इट्स वन होल वर्ल्ड थिंग एंड देयर आर लॉट ऑफ रूल्स एंड यू नो इट वाज लाइक अ बूट कैंप फॉर मी एंड आई एम ग्लैड दैट इट हैपेंड एट दैट स्टेज इन माय करियर इट रियली डिसिप्लिन मी Yeah, hmm. which a lot of my contemporaries lacked. Yeah, and I think that gave me that little bit of an edge. Yeah, I believe so. That discipline really came to me, and thanks to Disney for that. Did you ever end up getting a college degree? Of course. What did you uh, graduate? Did I become? No, yeah. sorry, from Mumbai only. Mumbai. Yeah. Are yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. I went actually. I went yeah. to. I was selected by Rotary to become an exchange student. Okay. So I became the first exchange student between India and France. What oh, nice. And France, where you know people think Paris, but I was down south in a place called Albi, mm-hmm. which is a ten thousand population. Uh, गांव है which is one hour away from Toulouse. Now Toulouse is where the Airbus factory is. Mm-hmm. Airbus के बारे में मैं बताऊँगा because my love is avionics. I love mm-hmm. planes. I'm a Well, I'm a pilot. You're a commercial so, license holding. Uh, not commercial license. Okay. I don't even have a PPL, but I'm working towards. Okay, it. okay, okay. I've nice. set up a flight simulator in my house for the last, uh, seriously, for the last thirty years now. Wow. I've been building, 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 and now it it, it looks nice. Should nice. We, we need to see a photo of this, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Send it. Or come over only, no? Yeah, for, uh, yeah. We'll, I'm your neighbor for a bit before I move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. I'm your yeah. neighbor How? for a while. How? <laughs> The house I'm living in is going into redevelopment, so I'm moving back into my parents' house. I will okay. stay there until I get married. After which I will stay there until I save up enough That's to great. do the next you thing. You know, you're in a very envious position. Yes, yes. I find myself enviable position. I, I constantly, uh, I'm very envious also <laughs> of yourself. Good, good on you. Yeah. Good on you. Life is I don't envy the moving back yeah. to your parents' house part. That mm. that will be traumatic, but it's okay. Oh, They are good people. Yeah, parents are good until like you wake up the next morning <laughs> and it's the same thing. You don't have COVID, mm-hmm. no? No, no, not that I know. Of. Ah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but uh, <laughs> the only other the flight simulator I've seen is in uh, Vizag when I had gone. No, you're talking about those actual things where you get into the hydraulics and all. Obviously, it's not that. Mine is a little room which I've slowly. But you must have have you must have. वो नहीं किया मैंने. मतलब मैंने monitors extra डाल दिए हैं. Nice. Hardware equipment डाला है. Yoke है. Throttle है. Spoiler nice. lever है. Radar buttons है. Software means my my hardware of my computers huh. become like it can launch a rocket. Yeah. I get scared like sometimes <laughs> I launch my building. You know, press a button. 
here. But yeah, it's it's on heat. And, and, and I have two here. ACs in my little room <laughs> yeah. because the heat which comes out of it. You know, I'm my sure. Hair gets yeah. waxed on my legs. Oh man. By burning. <laughs> so that's oh, what. Man. It's a matter. So when do you take it? Yeah, in your mouth, there's heat and sugar. Ah, no, man. What is that, man? I mean, you know, it's, I've been thinking about this. Lunga, but yeah, no, I think Gulf it makes sense. Lunga. वो तो लूंगा मैं मैं बता रहा हूँ आपको बट वाई ओके सॉरी नवीन टू गो इन टू प्लेन फॉर फाइव मिनट्स दिस इज वॉट आई डू दिस वॉट आई डू ओके आई सिंग आई हैव दिस हैबिट ओके माई डैड Uh, also big fan of avionics. How? Uh, In what sense? Uh, he he's just been a fan. He never got his pilot license. Couldn't get. Got too old. He always wanted me to get. I am not interested. Now right. the grandson is the one who will one day fly. Uh, <laughs> but I have to petrol ka bahut ekke bola nahi udan ke apne. But I have to gadi lene ko bhi bahut hitch ki chaya. Mere paas nahi hai gadi. Mere bivi ke paas gadi hai. Main cycle chalata hu. Yehi to hai. That's the way. So I like to look at planes. That's my thing. I look at all the planes that are available to people to buy, and I'm like, wow, ye must hai. Isme to toy. Let me. You know, Actually, to buy you look at. No, I mean whatever. Like, cause I, I'm the like features. At some day in my life, you know. Akash is I, a parameter guy. But buying a plane is a waste. Of Isn't money. it? Yeah, the yeah. parking is very expensive. Parking is, is maintenance. <laughs> all yeah. that is expensive. I thought yeah. you just made it in Jess. Ki building me parking jaga nahi hai. My brother. No. Gali me aane denge ne runway ki naam pe. No, it's a waste. I mean, uh, but fractional sharing is there, which is very yeah. very cool. Yeah. Yeah. You can you can buy a plane with people mm-hmm. uh, and collectively own the plane. Like how me and my flatmate oh, like, own the like, speaker. Oh, like. Yeah, but one of my friends has started plane. fractional house owning. Second house fractional owning. Oh wow. Fantastic. Where is it? No, वो पैसे देगा तो मैं promote करूँगा. हाँ सही. अभी इतना बता दे. मेरे को मैं offline पूछेगा जब अपन plane उड़ाएँगे. आपके घर पे बट मैं भी आधा सिंधी हूँ यारेडान Much more a Bentley SUV plus plus plus. Okay, but then don't. Why would you want to drive it? Wouldn't you want to be the one? Because sitting? I love flying. I want to. I mean, what's see? That's what I don't understand. People mm. buy the fanciest of cars and give it to the driver. Right, right. I understand parking, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, ठीक है. Yeah. So तो same issues. Yeah. yeah, same yeah. issues. वो ये शोर मेरा है. इसलिए मैंने कहा. My yeah. brother, no. Yeah. When when he was doing his masters in London, ना तो उसका एक batchmate है. वो बहुत ही like ultra rich आदमी है. तो ये भी काफी अच्छे फैमिली से हैं ब्रदर इन लंडन ही थ्रू दैट नहीं नहीं तो अभी और अभी मैं बोलता मनीपाल और फिर मैं बोलता कि सऊदी ऑयल मैग्नेट एंड ऑल तो तुम बोलते ऐसे कैसे हो गया आई जस्ट हैव 1% स्टेक मैं कौन क्या बोलूंगा और 1 यू नो आई नो हाउ मैथ वर्क्स ओके आई नो व्हाट योर 1% इज द ओनली थिंग माय कजन डिड आउटसाइड ऑफ इंडिया इज आई एम साउंडिंग सेक्सी आई एम थैंक यू यार या पेनफुल बाय द वे व्हेन आई केम फ्रॉम बिहाइंड ना आई सेड हाय बट आई वाज लिटिल सटल बिकॉज़ You know your hair is longer from behind, so I didn't know uh, how to approach you. But now you know. Now you know. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So this guy, he used to always complain about this only. Like they used to. My brother would tell me that there's all these rich people. They they are in London. They're all execs of companies and all. Yeah. And their companies paying for the MBA. Companies paying for everything. So they'll get a posh just for on rent for two days that they've come for class. Yeah. This guy will get his private jet. Both of them will sit next to each other in the canteen and complain parking. But life should be that easy, na, bhai. <laughs> But but life should be that easy. Yeah. Like this. And I'll tell you why. I'll give you an example. Dubai. Huh. The people call it a mad city. It is a mad city. Huh. But there you can actually own. Like the uh, high end cars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you can. It's a matter of fact. Yeah. And yeah. why not? You know, I feel that everybody should experience things once. Yeah. Because the forbidden fruit or the aspirational that we create. Sometimes is much far superior yeah. than what it actually is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. then your uh, real motivations in life will be very different. And I, I, and I also noticed, like, you know, people who have fancy cars love showing it off to other people mm. because it's like one of those things that they have Status, strived. Yeah. No, also more than status, I think. Achievement. It's like, it's like look at all the cool things that come with it. Like I remember, I first when I was mm. like twenty two and I was working at Book My Show. That when I could afford to like have friends who had better lives than me, and <laughs> and my friend's friend owned a BMW with mm. a sunroof, and I'm like, fuck, this was for me. I'd never wow. been a sunroof. I'm 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 a kid who traveled on the second part of this not even sleeper a seater in bus okay <laughs> yeah, I've done that I've where done you sit that. like this and go so Goa, so yeah lots yeah. of times yeah so like you know when you see that end of life and then to having like at 3 a.m. in Andheri streets like back yeah. road of local wala you're going around at the hundred k speed and somebody is like asking you to go out of the roof and see how it feels you know that scene from uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower yeah, yeah. that's what I felt like in that moment I was infinite <laughs> in that moment but uh, I, but like I get it. what you're saying you know yeah everybody likes to show off about their cars especially nice Okay, yeah, and, it's, and, and it's a thing like it's a thing that we should all enjoy. 
you know what i'm saying like are you feeling like even that day we went by your car akash's yeah, yeah. car by the way which one uh, i got a seltos nice i yeah. i have a seltos also I mean, yeah. my wife has a seltos yeah. very nice very best like that's a value you for money value for money all yeah. features and are there is <laughs> exactly what i'm saying <laughs> sonnet, sonnet sonnet <laughs> Yeah, so it also hey. little small it I need for my family and you know? all. So I got that big one. You know how nice, the car gets nice. activated you have to go and say a cell to sky but I would pro- <laughs> uh, but I would definitely promote a electric cycle. Yeah. Uh I had it I bought it before about a year before the pandemic yeah. and it does it drive on its own? Oh, like God. does it charge by your pedaling or do you have to plug it in? What's electric about it? Yeah, so uh you know it doesn't uh, I'm just making yeah. <laughs> joke sorry. <laughs> बट नो इट्स लाइक यार लैपटॉप का चार्जर होता है ना वो लेकर आप डाल दो कहीं पर सॉकेट में इन द बिल्डिंग पे सो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी को फोर आवर्स बट डज इट मेक पेडलिंग इजियर और डज इट पेडल फॉर यू सो आई हैव एक्चुअल थ्रोटल आई शो टू डाउन एंड आई कैन स्विच इट ऑफ ऑल्सो एंड बिकम्स अ नॉर्मल बाइक एंड वेन इट्स ऑन So I can actually do this, or if I pedal, yeah. it'll catch, it'll get that. Okay, uh, but like a Yulu bike, but, but it doesn't advanced. charge when it. Uh, it doesn't. But if it must be a really heavy bike when you're not very light, throttling. very light. What? Okay, we're gonna take a break, and I'm gonna go see the cycle right fucking now. See you after the break. <laughs> we're back. Yeah. We're back on Vartha Lab, and uh, Vartha our Lab. job is at stake right now. Yeah. Yeah. We have to hurry. It seems. Yeah. We have to hurry also. Also cool. Yeah, a lot uh, of pressure has been uh, put on us in this break. We went down to look at the cycle. We got distracted by samosas. Hey, by whom? Um, who's putting pressure on you? Uh, I'm. Uh, you don't know the person. While who, I was on my call, also he's like, "Can you wrap it up? Can you?" Wrap it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he doesn't respect the space that artists yeah. like us need. They were giving us 0.25 percent more of that stake. Yeah, and he said, "Hurry it up." So, uh, now it's gone. Now it's gone. Now no, it's no, gone. I got it. You got oh. it. Chalo, chalo. At yes. least he got it, guys. Got At it. Least Thanks got to you guys. It. Yes. Chalo. Somebody's day is not ruined completely. Yes. At least. Uh, NFTs. You are making them. You are the first Indian celebrity to make them. People have told well, me to Indian make. First Indian actor. Okay. I don't know the definition of celebrity, and I didn't really go for it in that sense. It was back in June. Okay. I was looking at. Uh, I'll say something very fancy. Diversifying my portfolio. Mm. <laughs> huh? These are the uh, words that get me going. Going, no? <laughs> equity, commodities, yeah, stock, yeah, both stock, yeah, both. Stop it, daddy. Stop it, yeah. Uh, turning on. घर पे बैठे हैं क्या करें? पांच रुपए एक्स्ट्रा आ गया. अरे यार ये बिटकॉइन्स क्या होते हैं? चलिए खरीदते हैं पांच छे. फिर औकात में आ गया. एक क्लबहाउस करके कह रहे हैं से क्लबहाउस? क्लबहाउस करके एक. You can say anything. हाँ, Disney training. तो ये एक यू नो दैट गिवन मी एन इनवाइट टू कम एंड जॉइन एंड ओपन रूम्स एंड ऑल तो फर्स्ट टाइम आई सेड लेट्स ट्राई दिस सो आई ओपन अ रूम कॉल्ड क्रिप्टो फॉर डमीज ओके थ्री फोर थाउजेंड पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड गेम दैट्स द लास्ट टाइम आई गॉट सच एन ऑडियंस एंड लॉट ऑफ लाइक बिग शॉट्स एट लीस्ट टू क्लेम टू बी लाइक बेस्ट बाय का सी ओ हैपन टू बी इन इंडियन लाइक ऑल दीज गाइज एंड दे रियली लाइक टुक मी अंडर द विंग बट वॉज वेरी इंटरमीडिएटिंग वैसे डेयर बॉस ये तो एक बार समझ में नहीं आ रही है तो पैसे नहीं डालेंगे उधर और दूसरी चीज है यार मैं बिटकॉइन से सोच रहा हूँ एक बिटकॉइन तो 35 40 लाख का है तो रिलैक्स बड़ी एंड दैट टाइम आई डिन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रैक्शनलाइजेशन एंड ऑल दैट रिश बट देन आई डिड अ लिटिल रिसर्च एंड देन आई चांस टू बोन एनएफटीज व्हाई दैट रेजोनेटेड विद मी बिकॉज़ आर्ट एंड समवेयर आई फील आई एम एन आर्टिस्ट नॉट एक्टर भी आर्टिस्ट ही होता है एंड लाइक यू आई हैव डन स्केचिंग एंड ड्राइंग एंड सो आई गिव माय इंटरमीडिएट एंड एलिमेंटरी एग्जाम आई लर्न दैट आई लव्ड इट आई एंजॉयड बिकॉज़ माय फर्स्ट चॉइस ऑफ प्रोफेशन ऑलवेज पायलट बट आर्किटेक्ट Hmm. Right. I'm neither. And architecture needs so much like back-breaking dedication. It's not even funny. Yeah. Like people, I see people like have scoliosis as they grow older yeah. Yeah. as architects because they're literally. Like, <laughs> because they're bending. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that happened. Yeah. I put it out there that uh, I want to make an NFT. Lucky, a lot of people from all over the world, artists, like, can we collaborate? Yeah. I wanted to make sure that I wanted an Indian to collaborate. Now right. I'm not a pseudo uh, nationalist. I love my country, but I'm not a pseudo nationalist. I think I'm not. My reason was that look, today everything is about. You have a great product, but you need to market it in your brand, and you got to take the USP of it, and you got to kind of get it out there. I felt if I'm doing something, I'm the USP. So an Indian will resonate with me, and we'll make an artwork which will resonate with the audience. Hmm. We made it, put it out, auctioned it, sold at five x. Hmm. Next one got collected by a lot of people, including Maroon Five. Hmm. International attention, sold many. How does this? So okay, I don't understand much about NFTs. Hmm. I understand enough to not invest in them because I don't see the. I mean, like I don't see the benefit of investing in one. Maybe I would put out an NFT because I'm an artist, as opposed to this thing. Mm-hmm. But like the way I understand, but anything it, can be an NFT. Yeah, nowadays. that's what. Like it needs not just be, be NFT, art, right? Artwork, like a image, like, like a video. Memes, vines became NFTs. Like a YouTube video you, can you, be YouTube an NFT. YouTube video can also be an NFT. You basically yeah. digitize whatever and yeah. put it up in the blockchain. Yeah. yeah. and then you can sell it or you can but can it still be on youtube if it's a nft 
Of course it can be, but on the blockchain will be the original contract, right? Right. So you can have hundreds of JPEGs about it, you can put it up on your DP, you can do anything, that won't be the original. Right. The valuation of originality is coming back, thanks right. to NFTs, right? Okay. Yeah, because the conversation around NFTs is more like it's removing, it's making everything more capitalistic and more uh, money-wise. Really? Yeah, that, I mean, that's okay. the... Uh, I look at it from a different aspect that it's giving power into the hands of the people who create. Right. For example, an artist will get royalty from it for the rest of his life. Yeah. Right. Which is outstanding power, man. Yeah. I know as an actor, I crave that I wish Mambo yeah. <laughs> had the royalties. Yeah. I would have been a multi-billionaire band. I wish my character in Hippopuri John had a royalty. Yeah. Mm. I wish singers. Imagine Arijit Singh or Sonu Nikama having and they've been fighting for and it. And that's yeah. a, that's a more westernized concept. For example, like I was watching RuPaul's Drag Race and then they do interviews with like the drag queens. So every season, at the end of the season, like RuPaul who's the drag queen supreme, she'll feature the top three or four drag queens who are in the finale into her own song. The song is already done. She's recorded it. There's a version of it with RuPaul and then there's a version with the queen singing their versions. Okay. So now every time that song plays in a club in America, they get a dollar or royalty for it right. so they are not going to be broke for the rest of their life because yeah. that version of the song will keep playing and that's in, fantastic in India there's no system like that at all so it's on the yeah. blockchain yeah. the funniest thing is like when NFT also came around one of the funniest videos was just that and like, they're like why are people paying billions for this I can just go control save and it's in my computer Yeah. and that's then true. obviously the, the joke is that the masses will not understand the, the major the back end of it all essentially right and yeah. you know I have always focused on the fact that okay art is great so everybody said you know, aesthetics per focus kar. Hmm. I said, great, but I have utilities. I mean, whatever my NFT will buy, it will not get only artwork, it will get utilities. Bhi so initially, my, what were my utilities? My utilities were, firstly, the fun part was that you're buying into somebody who's the first of his kind from the country. So the yeah. valuation obviously increases tremendously. It's a collector's hmm. item. Hmm. Secondly, art is also good. You can display it. Yeah. Thirdly, it's a little bit of my art. So, I don't know, I don't know, it's a conversation. These three things are going to be aesthetic. Mein chala gaya. Hmm. But I added utilities. The utilities mean, if you get it, you get a meet and greet with me right. forever once. Yeah. Today, whether we love it or you hate it, your number of subscribers, your followers, etc. on social media is a currency. Hmm. So, I offered them that if you collect it, then I'll do a live session with you on my Instagram, which hmm. is organically increasing your social media. That. Yeah. And then I've always had a give back. Like, I have a daughter. So, I've always wanted to give back to the girl child, etc. So, so, part of it goes into the girl child. Hmm. Now, what happens is that with my newest NFTs, I focus more on the film industry and how the daily wage workers, mm. light men, dress dadas, you know, these guys have been suffering because there's no opening any shoots. So every part of my thing goes to them. Right. Nice. And now we'll continue. That's yeah. where it started from. And that's right. where it goes. So utilities plus this thing and my latest project basically has a ton of utilities. Mm. Yeah. Hey, that's really fascinating to me. It's I fun, didn't know yeah. you could do all of this. No, you can. That's what. I mean, I'll, I, I, that's one thing I want to kind of get at is that including me, the laziness to understand. Yeah. You know, people turn around and just look at not even the headlines, the her of the headlines now. It's yeah. become that much. Mm. I mean, our, our concentration or our desire to understand has become so... That's true. So me, kya? Yeah. Uh, today, if I turn around and say, Ar, Nikhil has show pe bula, mara. <laughs> There'll be 20,000 people who'll support me. Yeah. Uh, seriously, without yeah. even getting his point of view from yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous because people yeah. don't want to scratch the surface. And I'm really harping on that point yeah. because... In this time of laziness with development, we have also reached a place of. Uh, you yeah. say what you are saying? You are saying what you are saying? In the comedy scene, generally, there is a. Uh, There's a yeah, a and in the world, also, slapping. generally, no? Fact, yeah. But I don't yeah. want to make this too heavy. But that's yeah. a fact. I mean, I, I urge you, yeah. everybody. Also, it's Naveen, at, not Nikhil. Yeah. Oh, man. I've been calling you yeah. Nikhil since when? That's okay. I'm very sorry. My Deepak, mom also calls Deepak, me Nikhil. Deepak, <laughs> says, Deepak, says, Deepak says sorry. Okay, Vishal Meth. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Vishal Meth, that's your. Yeah. Yeah, we were seeing that on uh, Instagram, man. It looks like Vishal Meth. <laughs> Vishal Meth. Really? Like, it's like a breaking bad. ETH, right? Yeah. So Vishal Malhotra. Ethereum, is it? Yes. Yeah, so it's Vishal. It looks like Vishal. It's Vishal. 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 Vishal M. M. Dot dot e. yeah, so yeah. Vishal Meth. Meth. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Naveen, sorry. I'm mean, okay. It's okay. Naveen, I want to apologize. I kept saying Nikhil. I'm really sorry. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay, Naveen, man. It's, Naveen. it's better than with people not calling me back. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. yeah. But Naveen, my middle name is also Prem, by the way, like your grandfather. Really? Yeah, there's yeah. no chance in it, but it's right. only Prem. Naveen Prem. So I'm going to call you Naveen Prem. From yeah. That's but why, like, what is the dot ETH? It is Ethereum, is it? Ethereum, yeah. Yeah, I keep telling my dad I want to invest in crypto. He's like, don't bother. He says, uh, you don't understand it. But I do. How much do you uh, understand about stocks? No, no, I understand stocks. stocks. Yeah, it's the share market family. That's no, another great, reason, right? Like people are, claim, uh, no? people are uh, this thing. Na? People get averse to newer things as they get older also. I don't, I'm not here to sell it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to say that. I but look like at it from for a, a, for a dummy like me, okay? Like now you want to. And me. <laughs> no. So you have your NFT out there. 
what is out there and who are out there and where is out there i just want to know all of these on things. the blockchain huh. so like there are marketplaces where you can sell it foundation open seas is, is ethereum a different blockchain from bitcoin or is it all ethereum on the same ethereum is a different chain it's a different chain right, right? so ethereum yeah. is not only a currency it's also used for making smart contracts so it has multi usage bitcoin is primarily a currency. Oh, currency okay right and there's a limited value that's why you know it's so huh. valuable so there are all these marketplaces like there is amazon or whatever mm. you sell you sell here huh. so for my latest project a friend of mine rick day who's actually an architect turned coder brilliant guy uh, lives in masuri with his wife and his dog sheldon hmm. made and like he didn't give the wife's name at all <laughs> like his yeah, wife because, and dog sheldon ah but like the dog is public information the yeah. wife may not be continue Okay. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, uh, that's what you meant by side tracking for no reason. <laughs> yeah, Ida, Ida Sharma is on in his name, wife's name. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> yeah, and Rat Labs, Paris, one guy. He's the guy who made this. I got my own uh, Web three platform, basically. Right. So it's my own marketplace. Nice. So now I sell my own NFTs from there. That was not oh. in the beginning, right? In, in that happened now for this project that I'm doing, right. which is the film project, which Correct. I hope you all yeah. will make. Yeah. Don't about. tell no. about the film, yeah, please, because it's called. Uh, it's India's. Yeah, that's Island. what we're building up to because it's India's first crowdfunded, yeah. crypto crowdfunded NFT. NFT not crypto. Film. NFT. Oh, sorry, NFT funded. So yeah. it's definitely India's first NFT funded film. Yeah. There is a little bit of research I need to do more, but I'm pretty convinced, and a lot of people are convinced that it's the world's first. Okay. So great, fantastic! It basically works that I create whatever NFTs that I've created from June till now, I sold it, converted it to fiat, which is rupees, paid tax on it, and Joby Bacha, I made a picture. Nice. The picture's name is Elm. Sweet film, thirty thirty five minutes. Got a lovely song. Got lovely background music. Lot of amazing people have turned around and put it. So you know what's awesome about it is the fact that first color picture was one. Yeah. Talkie picture hmm. thi, the first NFT funded film. So your name basically becomes immortalized on it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, coming to the collectors, so what happens is that we divide into four: uh, the platinum ticket, gold kit, ticket, silver ticket, and the uh, prize is different for each. So whoever collects this or buys the NFT gets a producer credit on the film. Right. Now nice. I have been around for the last twenty seven, twenty eight years acting. It's a kink, man. Whenever yeah. I see my name on the credit rolls, now I yeah. get damn excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I wanted that experience to be full, and yeah. people have understood the value of that. Besides the fact that you're collecting a token for another Genesis piece, historical piece. Yeah. So the price has already gone up 25x. Right. 25x on the Ethereum chain, right. hmm. which is unheard of. Uh, one of the biggest success, and I didn't sell it on any other known platform. I made my own platform and outsold it. Right. So these are just factual, and I'm. I'm proud of it. I'm very grateful about yeah. it. So now, and when the final movie comes out, would you put Daryl Sasan in NFT? Eventually? Maybe, maybe. But mm-hmm. I'm going to definitely. It's a great question, Naveen. Yeah. See what happens. It's confusing. Okay, I'm really already. No, the the, the previous okay, yeah, NFT is funded. The, the, the funded. New movie. Okay, yeah. Okay. So the, the movie way, itself is a new, new yeah, work of art. Okay, okay, yeah. Yes. So yeah. I, I just uh, kind of clarify that. So NFT is beche, paise hmm. aaye, hmm. picture banai. Picture, picture भी NFT अभी है. पिक्चर जो है वो रियल वर्ल्ड में जैसे नॉर्मल पिक्चर बनाते हैं वैसे ही बनाई है hmm. अब वो किसी ओटीटी में जाएगा या जहां पर भी right. मैं अनाउंस कर लूंगा थोड़ी टाइम में लेकिन फिर वो राइट्स हमारे पास होंगे कि वी कैन टेक पार्ट्स ऑफ दैट फिल्म जैसे कि वी विल मेक एन एनएफटी आउट ऑफ द सॉन्ग ऑफ द फिल्म एंड सेल इट एज एन एनएफटी देन वी विल टेक बैक बिहाइंड द सीन्स देन वी विल टेक एक्टर इंटरव्यूज देन वी विल डू एक्चुअली पुटिंग द बजट द कॉल साइन द कॉल शीट्स And so it's like a Kickstarter, Patreon, all combined into like one yeah, beautiful, yeah, yeah, which yeah, continues adventure. even after the release of the exactly, film. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then once that happens, when everything is done, who knows? We might just take the entire film and sell it as one NFT. Yeah, yeah. So the monetization keeps continuing for a very, very long time, and people kind of keep getting involved. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh man, but you must have had to pay mad tax on that Ethereum. Thirty-one percent straight down. Ah. Uh. No. Expenses allowed. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. I and mean, even in is... the middle, they had cracked down on the crypto th- stuff as well, right? The government. No, yeah, I mean, there was no policy. Yeah, there was no policy. Now there is a policy to some mm. extent. I actually because appreciate because everybody yeah, was like yeah. using Bitcoin to buy weed on the fucking internet. No, but no, but it's uh, you know the anonymity helps. But also, I I, I agree with you completely. Like, कुछ तो बोलना चाहिए. We're not bastards anymore. Yeah, कुछ तो बोलना चाहिए. क्या है? कितना tax है? कुछ clarity दो तो लोग को भी comfort. Legitimize हो गया ना. Yeah, exactly. And that's good. That's progressive of our government. because i'll tell you what um we missed as india the web 1 revolution mm, yeah. internet kyunki ye hai ye kya hai mm. we missed the web 2 social media ye kya hai but we came na now we we're, we're about to miss the web 3 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
which is called Jio in the and, middle. And the blockchain and all <laughs> will really, like the one place where it will revolutionize things is just like land ownership and all. Once there is a contract on the blockchain Smart that cannot contract. be fucked with only dude. Yeah, it's true. Like all your land disputes will become so much yeah. more clearer. Like it can have genuine social level impact. But anyway, what is this movie about? So it's a... Everything it's a, you told us but what movie, it's yeah. about. It's called Ilm. Ilm means knowledge. Also, uh, inspiration to a yeah. certain extent. And uh, industrial light and magic. Back. So Ilm is a story between about a 12-year-old boy uh, and his grandmother who live in Aksa village. So we've, we've shown that aspect of society. Um, the boy has recently lost his parents about six months ago. And at that age, you really, you're really getting to know your parents, right? Mm. And he shuts down. His name is Krishna. He just shuts down. There's only one thing which gives him happiness in life is to portray his grandmother. To sit down and make portraits of his grandmother. Mm. Mm. And when he's on the crux of losing her also, it's how he's got to kind of fight against all the odds and kind of get back, things back together. Yeah. So that's oh, what Ilm is about. Yeah. yeah, Simple, sweet. It's got one lovely song. Yeah. So Samar Swaroop is the guy who's done the music for it. Fantastic guy. Lives out of Jaipur. Mm. Really should check him out. Fantastic are you, voice. Uh, you know, I don't know, but like uh, all the people you've spoken about are from all over the country, right? And yeah. that happens with me as well, where like everyone we work with also at Lasun and all, everyone's all over the country. Yeah. Is this something that you've started doing more after the pandemic or is this like you generally? I don't care. Because everything was online. I haven't met yeah. any of these guys. Yeah. Now, I've started going and meeting because when the film was getting conceptualized and everything, yeah. we, Zoom were, calls. we were locked. Yeah. We were Zoom calls. So, yeah. we've actually yeah. done the entire music on some software which you all must be knowing of, which is studio. You actually feel you're in the studio, but you're actually on Zoom calls. Right. Mm. The background music has been done by uh, Abhijit Vaghani, who's mm -hmm. the guy who's done the T-series, produced the T-series mixtape. Mm. Man, I mean, these guys agreeing to do this is massive for me because... Mm. It makes a difference so, to the yeah. film. So do you find yourself to. pulling in favors or it was more like they're forthcoming also? Well, I I went and asked. I mm. just went and said, hey, I'm doing this. It's a yeah. first of its kind and they found value in it. Yeah. So Asking is difficult but often very rewarding in life, no? Yeah, but I mean, what you're asking the for also, part, I guess. Yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah. So I don't have any qualms here. Why should yeah. I have a qualm? I went to my cycle there too. And I said, bro, I'm making this. You do it. करोगे मेरे पास कैसे नहीं है मेरे पास इतने हैं अरे मैं साइकिल वाला आदमी झोला लेके आया हूँ नहीं वो 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 एंगल नहीं था डेट वुड बी मी डेट वुड बी वेरी मी आई ड्राइव लाइक अ रियल लाइक अ बाया साइकिल नो एक्चुअली आई 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 एक्चुअली Really, people think I'm very cool when I come in an electric cycle. Huh? Yeah. I mean, yeah. rather than very yeah. 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 <laughs> expensive. My car is very expensive. No, cycles. I think are the way forward. It's just like it's such a yeah. I hate I hate like vehicles. But everywhere. in Mumbai, I have to say that people remove their anger and frustration on cyclists. I mean, they see them and they go towards them. That's what so Akash and I we were going to Pune for a show that day, and we we go from car which is our area, and car is car, you know yeah, people car have built car. car how it is. Then you go to BKC while passing, and, and I'm like, pure attention has been given to BKC in Bombay, man. <laughs> like, there, there's a cycling, there's a nice, nice yeah. green path for cycles, yeah, and, and, and all the flowers are. Bandra car is Bandra car, guys. Bandra car. Here, here you get run over by car. You're like, at least I'm in car. You know? BKC is our if version. I, of, <laughs> if I die, I die in car, Bandra. You know. But <laughs> so BKC like, is our little version of Dubai. You know what yeah, I mean? It's yeah. like everyone here has a certain salary. Everyone here is making a certain amount of money. All the big banks, all the big companies are here. Yeah. All the rastas are going to be nice. Geo center. And yeah, so it's very so, fancy. And the funniest man. thing on BKC nice. is like, yeah. I was going to meet my friend who lives in Dharavi, hmm. who's, who's like our friend Shravan from the studio. And uh, so you're, you're passing BKC to go to Dharavi, and on the map, you're like, wow, there's like a nice bridge and a river flowing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then you actually come to the river. <laughs> it's Mithi Nadi. It's Nadi. I'm like, oh, yeah. shit, dude. At what point does Google realize it's supposed to be blue? Like, it's not blue anymore. <laughs> yeah. it's like, on, the, on the map, let's make it black to have yeah. kind of like a common. If some stranger comes and drinks water, you don't know what will happen, man. Yeah, from, from yeah but you know why? Nadi. I don't know why this is taking me to a point where I am so. Amazed at how Dharavi handled COVID. Oh, very yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. I mean, I was scared when COVID happened. Yeah. Because I was like, this is probably the worst place in the planet to be in, right? Yeah, Mumbai was, and but Mumbai on all measures, even in the second wave, Amazing. we handled it really well. But if you think about let's, it, let's let's give kudos to the BMC. Oh, yeah, absolutely. for sure. Yeah. BMC, uh, Aditya Thakre, yeah. all these guys. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I think. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, on a national level, also it was really well handled, yeah. I mean, I had so this one Mumbai though, ka bol sakta Mumbai mein, like, everywhere there were posters where like regular Mumbai citizens like a bus driver or a doctor or a conductor everybody's like he me is about dar 
you know ah, me jobs right. like, which means like in in english is i am responsible i am yeah. answerable yeah. but Literally, it feels yeah. like in a different way like i spread covid <laughs> like me like in kandivli me the one that in the news of that that's what it looked like dude it was so funny <laughs> but i think generally i think mumbai kars are the kind of people who are compliant we are compliant because we understand that everybody here is here to get shit done yeah, yeah. nobody is here we, to chill you know it's not goa this is not himachal this is not delhi not hyderabad बाबा बंबई है काम करने को आया सब लोग तो अपन चुपचाप जो भी बोलेगा कर लेगा अपन आई लुक एट बॉम्बे एज हाउ इंडियंस बिहेव व्हेन वी गो अब्रॉड <laughs> you know, we we listen to the rules yeah. so yeah. here when everybody from india comes to bombay yeah, yeah. all of us and we become well behaved bas kachra aur thukna nahi hota baki sab to kar lete raste raste mein one way pe chala nahi nahi chalayenge hamara problem population hai aur ah, kuch nahi hai mere hisab ah. se and that's Are the thing yeah. right like when someone from different town or city comes to bombay like we'll be running like i'm, I'm on a platform running to my station or whatever yeah. train or whatever but somebody like ye ye train ka par aayega i will stop bombay will is a city that will stop be like here you go yeah. because i Bilkul. know i know what headless chicken feeling you have right now yeah, because yeah. the, city, the city is yeah. on overdrive at all times yeah. and if you're not in on the program then you're not in at all yeah. it's like it's and also the inconvenience of dude you're stopping the chain yeah yeah <laughs> you know, yeah absolutely ki tu rukega to yaar mere piche yaar oh shit this one time in the train man like it was crowded crowded second class train okay and i'm there i don't know why i'm there i most of my early life i question why i was there yeah because i could have afforded to go in first class i don't know what i, I was like one of those kids who like adventure you know like thrill aega <laughs> story milega isme se this one kid who was clearly from like from a different town had just come to bombay he has no idea how crowded the trains get and he's having an entire panic attack and is going to puke okay yeah. mm. he's going to puke in a train where there's no place to even breathe properly yeah. so now the whole compartment has to like figure out how to handle this guy because yeah. he's going to splurge yeah, and and sabka ganda hai laga par everybody going to work we yeah. don't want that so there's like a small defensive ring forming around it so we are all telling the person around us ki jaga do jaga do jaga do phatne wala banda so that so the window guys go more outside <laughs> <laughs> dangling even more so and this whole it becomes a little nucleus for him to breathe first yeah, yeah. and then like a plastic bag comes from somewhere yeah. some like a lemon bottle comes from somewhere yeah. this city man <laughs> Operates on its own, like yeah. somehow this guy. See how the city just makes space for everything to happen. Yeah, story bhi chalega, but, chick bhi hoega. Yeah. Nee, sachi, nee, wo maine bola, ruk ja, ta ki. Nee, main rukta nahi, main bachalu ho gaya, toh main bolta hu. Nee, but yeah, yeah. Nee, pagalu. What a lovely story, yeah, because that's yeah. a fact. Yeah, yeah, fact. That's that. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Did you act in the film? Did you write uh, the film? Did you? I wrote it. I have directed it. Mm-hmm. It's my first directorial. Yeah. And uh, the conceptualization is by me. And I mentioned some lovely people involved yeah. in it. Yeah, you have to cast a kid. That's always difficult. Working with children is yeah. Always... But I got really lucky on the fact. Mm. I got really lucky because I got the exact cast. Ah, mm. and uh, in the sense, you when you were writing it, you already had an idea. Ki I knew I wanted this kid who people would feel bad for. Uh, so, <laughs> mm. so I got one kid like that, and uh, <laughs> I chose the guy on the photograph, not even seen a screen. Oh wow! Guess, so yeah, I was yeah. like, wow, this guy's just his eyes talk to me. I think when right. kids are cast in movies, we have to at some point feel bad for them. Like, that's the difference between the first Home Alone and the new Home Alone. Do you know there's a new Home Alone? There's a new Home Alone. There's a new Home Alone in which there's a that kid from uh, Jojo Rabbit, the fat one. Yeah, yeah. The spectacled one. Yeah. He's cast as the kid. Okay. Okay. And you no know, first Home Alone, Kevin McAllister, he's alone at home, and the robbers try to and, and yeah, yeah. So basically, like he's a innocent kid who has to defend his house okay yeah. in the new one there are there's a couple who's selling their house because they're so broke okay christmas is around and they're so broke that they are going to sell the house and this kid and his mom go to see the house warming because he has to pee hmm. and when he goes to the house he sees a collectible doll which is valued at like millions of dollars it's a collectible item and the doll goes missing from the house so uh. now, now the couple things that this kid told the doll uh. that's why they're trying to attack his house and then he makes the life miserable so they're just a poor couple trying to get the doll back from this kid who's an obnoxious rich asshole so they have come so far from yeah. that original concept that nobody felt bad for the kid in the movie like all the reviews were just like what the fuck is this kid doing dude why why is such an asshole to a poor couple and it's just yeah. like deranged now but yeah, that's we, what i'm saying we have, the, we had the kids, kids yeah we had kids in the movie because uh, and it's good yeah because i've had experience working with disney and with kids once yeah. Yeah. again and again i mean while i'm talking to you also i realized that it's been such a great training ground right yeah And uh, what is it like? I mean, uh, we don't have that much, but we can go shortly into it. Like yeah. being in the Disney family, right? You are part of the Disney family. And you've also voiced mm-hmm. actors. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. All of that, you yeah. did Toy Story, dude. I was Ken. Yeah, <laughs> you were in Toy Story. I've done Bugs Life, Pirates of the Caribbean. Nice. It's been great fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But what's it like? It's it's amazing. It feels privileged. It really yeah. does because. You're a part of the world's biggest entertainment company, which is just yeah. growing and taking over everything, right? But that's not really what it is. Yeah. It's about inclusiveness. It's there. Today. I'm about to 
start shooting again with Disney. Mm. Nice. I, uh, after a sabbatical of, I think, 12 years, 13 yeah. years, I did a show after Vicky Aur Vital. Uh-huh. During the pandemic, we shot something called Imagine That, which is on Disney Channel. And you know, I really wanted to sense, uh, when they came to me, I wanted to kind of check on my own that do I still have it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it became a rage. Yeah. So I guess there is some connect. And then the research showed that the people who have grown up with me are this watching it yeah, and they yeah. have kids. Yeah. So yeah. like, sit here and look. And this was my hero when I was a kid. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And they have introduced me to the next generation. That's lovely. Which yeah. is a, which I'm so grateful for. And now we're getting into the next season. Does of your kid, how old is your kid? Does your kid watch age. you on uh, Imagine That? Yeah, she does. <laughs> Her name is Vedika. And uh, in fact, uh, she was six and a half when the pandemic started. Yeah. And she was just about starting to watch a little bit of TV, which we are a little strict with. Yeah. And she saw Hippie Pure, mm. a show that I had done. What and a classic show though. Like, all that was good, yeah. that was good the, writing. N- Nakul, all of these guys still remember their names so weird. Yeah. So we, so, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. So she saw that show and she saw it episodically and she really, so I saw it for the first time from an audience's point of view. And I said, right. I get this. Now yeah. I get that. Because my sisters were in school when they all were in, the, in that show. Yeah. They were like in 10th, 11th and they were like, this is the this yeah. is the mental game and all of the dynamics. The and people still and yeah. luckily identify with yeah. it. Yeah. But to cut a long story short, yeah. I did something really cool for her which I'd like to say is that I got all my friends from Hippie Puri. We're still in touch. We have a WhatsApp group. So cute. Oh. And I got them all on a FaceTime call and oh, yeah. still sleeping. I said, get up, get up. Because every day was a conversation. Oh, Silas yeah. and you did this. Yeah. Oh, Zafar and you did this. Are you and all. So it became a part of her DNA yeah. for that time, mm. right? Because it's a very strong thing which is connected and remained with people for years. Yeah. So that's her living through it. Yeah. And me being allowed to live through it and yeah. looking at myself as a character. Yeah. And I get all these guys and one day they wake her up saying, Vedu, get up. Vedu, get up. So I, I hope I didn't damage her. <laughs> but she, you know, and then they've come home yeah. So for her, it's like me watching Friends and Chandler and Monica and all these guys coming home all yeah, of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I became a little, I got some brownie points from yeah, my daughter. Full, full emotional. As much as brownie yeah. points, summit sako, summit lo. Ah, Abhi se, yeah. Kaam lagenge. <laughs> but no, yeah, it's been, God, yeah. God's been kind, man. Yeah. It's been good. Yeah. Uh, it's it's working well. Just keep evolving. Keep on moving. Man, Absolutely. For, for us also, it's like a great honor having you because yeah. wow. a part of our Thank childhood you. was like, you yeah. know, watching, watching, and people don't understand this. But that, that circle the, moment, no. Uh, the quality of content yeah. we had and the amount of content we had was very limited. So yeah. we, we drew ourselves into it fully. And, and, that's and only great us, things yeah. would survive for as long as what you did did you know what I mean like that was Thank not you. a time where you could be mediocre and last for as long as you did and you. that you Appreciate have that. so like it's just a testament to that fact plus watching you gives us hope ki like yes I can have a 27 year old 30 year long career in this yeah. longer man yeah. and it's not only it's a lot of things that play right Yeah. like the very valid point that you got out what if social media was there maybe yeah. it would have been contrary to my lifespan yeah. so I just feel very privileged and really really grateful that 27 down 27 years down the line I'm still a working actor and I still have a little bit of validation and now I'm directing a film so evolve keep moving yeah and I'll bring up that point that you brought up about typecasting yeah you know it has been I mean I call typecasting another definition I said you get punished for doing your job really (laughs) Yeah. 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 like when I played Mambo Hmm. everybody wanted to cast me as a friend yeah when I played John everybody wanted me to cast me that when I played something Vishal in Jannat hmm. everybody wanted to cast me as a bookie yeah. Yeah. so I'm like okay but great Why yeah, not? Yeah. it works but at one point it doesn't work yeah. hmm. and I hope it keeps working man thank you so much for being what on what a pleasure yeah. thank you guys on that note yeah. we shall say goodbye on Vartalab this yeah. is me Naveen myself Akash with our very good friend Vishal 